Shooting like wrestling report. AJ Styles, uh, Luke Gallus and Carl Anderson now with Impact. Um, they've kind of spoken out about, uh, you know, getting uh, released from WWE, how they blame Paul Heyman. Uh, saying Paul Heyman lied to him. They they believe that Paul Heyman was the reason that they were fired, that Vince, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't his original intention to fire them. Paul Heyman put their names on a list, and I guess Vince had to do it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but uh, AJ Styles has been... Uh, really pissed. He continues to speak out against Heyman. Uh, he's been, he did it on his Mixer channel uh, last week. I, I don't fully know what Mixer is. I guess people watch you play video games. Uh, and again, he did it this week where he said, the reason I went to SmackDown is because I can't couldn't stand looking at Heyman. I just can't stand a liar. I'm a grown man. Why lie about anything? He didn't have to say anything. I told myself, if and when an opportunity comes to move to SmackDown, I had to do it. And he said that I talked to a lot of guys about the situation. You wouldn't believe the amount of guys who despise this guy because of his lies. Yeah. Whenever he screwed up, he tried to put them under the bus. I've heard this from so many different people. It's hard to find someone who actually likes them, likes him. And I just don't know that. Uh, and I didn't know this because I assumed that everyone likes him. I thought only I hated him. And uh, as far as Vince letting Paul go as executive director of Raw, he said the reason Vince is smart is he can see through all of Heyman's crap. Vince saw what everyone already knew. He was like, you know that. You know what, man? You've done some great things in the past, but you're not well-liked here. Please hit the bricks. And went on to say that Heyman has himself to blame because he has slighted a lot of people. So, uh, just, you know, how do you really feel? <laughs> just yeah. really, uh, really going off. No, and that's, and I've, I've talked about Paul before. <laughs> again, everything that I've ever said is, again, in getting confirmed by other guys on different things. And, you know, Paul's a guy you want on your side working, you know. He was he were, he he helped Brock he's helped Brock tremendously and in, in in I'm sure Brock would if he didn't have Heyman around would have found himself in different positions that he probably might not have been ideal. I would I would dare say. I think Paul and when he had Punk, I think he he helped Punk uh, immensely um with that and I've talked about that and having to work with him and how I didn't enjoy it because I knew he was working for Punk on um, that during all that even though he was with me on an on air um from an on air standpoint it's um that's the environment up there. It's an, it really is, and you know, pro wrestling. And you talk about people that work there and they leave, and they, their love of the business is gone. And I had to deal with that for a while because it just makes you hate pro wrestling, um, just because there's so much. It's that's to me been the most refreshing part of getting out of that bubble and living in the real world and like being able to control the happiness factor. And because like up there, it really is. It's a snake pit of like like again to talk about you know the guy that, that used to do this show that was fucking stealing thousands of dollars and, and stole you know a million dollars from an old man doing weird wrestling moves on. Like this guy, very questionable character on many levels, is now working for them. That's what mm -hmm. the people they bring into different things like they they like that kind of stuff because they want people that because then they get they, the people are their little stooges and loyal to them and it's just a fucking snake pit man and, and Paul's part of that whole game and Paul and, and due respect Paul knows how to play that game he's he's yeah. but man I just believe you can you can be a good decent human being and be honest with people and then people aren't gonna lie I would rather people not like me for me being honest and being true to myself than lie and people find out I'm lying and not like you know what I mean just to yeah. survive the moment because you don't like confrontation and so but that's the game Paul that's that's what he knows and mm -hmm. and I've talked about that and like I said though but if he's on your side you got to use them to your advantage and, and get as much money and a push out of it as you can. But it's just a different, it's just a different environment, man. That all of it, yeah. it really is. So, and AJ, I'm glad, I, I'm glad to see AJ speak his mind, man. I love that when guys, and it, it's that it's not the the first, and it's not the last time we're going to hear that about Paul. It's funny, like how all the interesting. Uh, beefs right now are outside of the ring. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like not in why can't we use it? Can we book fucking Heyman and, and, uh, <laughs> and AJ in some sort of match? Yeah. I, I got to beat the shit out of Paul at Madison Square Garden. That was a lot of fun. That was <laughs> like, can we do something like that with AJ? Book it at MSG when the crowd is back. Just Paul Heyman just getting whipped out there in his little whitey tighties, just fat blob, just bleeding in front of MSG. Oh, the fucking ratings. Oh, that's good shit. I hope that happens.
Uh, Thank you guys very much for watching this clip. And to watch full episodes of the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report and Conversation with the big guy Ryback, subscribe to patreon.com backslash Ryback for exclusive videos of both shows. And always remember, feed me more.